Welcome back to Blackthorn Prod. We're working on our third commercial game, Oroboro. The project is so close to completion, but we need one more thing, music. We've developed this world over three months, listening to the same track over and over again. It was time to hire some talent and bring our projects to life. So for the very first time, we headed over to Fiverr, a massive marketplace where you can recruit skilled freelancers from all over the world. We found three music composers at different price points. So in this video, we'll take a close look at what they made and implement it into our video game. Was it worth the money? Can you get awesome music for less than $10? Let's find out. But first, this video is sponsored by Xsola. It's an awesome, intuitive, code-free tool that can help you craft the right website for your game. You can design anything you need from a simple landing page to a complex community hub. You can start with a dev-friendly template from their catalog and customize to match your creation or build entirely from scratch. In short, it's your game's home on the web a great presentation tool, and a store where players can buy your work. Check out the link in the description where you can register a publisher account and start using the site builder. With that said, say hello to Gigi Gree, our first recruit. For a whopping $6, he would apparently compose unique and catchy music for our game. We messaged him asking if he could meet a super tight deadline. Turns out he's a Blackthorn Prod YouTube follower and was super enthusiastic about making something for Oloboro. That's a relief because our game is hitting Steam this Friday, right on time for the European Football Cup. Coincidence? I think not. Oloboro is a mix of football and magic. It's solo Quidditch with hordes of creatures. For each composer, we provided three links. The Oloboro trailer, Steam page, and mini free demo on itch.io. This would serve as inspiration and a solid base to create their music from. Other than that, we didn't set any restrictions, offering a lot of creative freedom. Here's what Gigi Gree came up with after a couple days. Whoa, I mean, that's pretty impressive for the price of a frappuccino. Listening to it while playing is the ultimate test though. And it passed. It fits Olobolo like a glove. It was fast paced and had a good beat. We don't really know that much about music on a technical level, but like everyone, we can feel when it's right. Now meet Will. This cool dude would make music for $20. And here is what he came up with. This brings a smile to my face and just gets me dancing. In the past, we've had much longer collaborations, most notably with Dave Allen, who did exceptional work on The Dreadful Whispers and Dashing Fire. That was a lengthy back and forth process, a long and rewarding journey. For Olobolo, however, we took a little too long getting that sort of collaboration up and running. It's a shorter project and was great for a speedy freelance experiment, which for now has not been a disappointment. And finally, we have Double Blast. His service was a little more expensive, a crunchy $140. Let's listen and let us know if you think it was worth it in the comments. Now we dig this. I like it, but I will say that the whole piece isn't necessarily better than the previous two. Both a lot cheaper. But of course, that's just our opinion. Once these creations were made, we were lucky to have quick talks with two of the composers to find out more about their process and tools. We were curious to find out how they came up with their ideas. For Will and Gigi Gree, it can come from simple experimentation, just mixing sounds, adding instruments and seeing which ones fit trial and error. Sometimes they might have a melody in their heads and try their best at replicating that 
in Logic Pro or FL Studio. Gigi Gree told us that's what he did for the piece's climax, and upon coming up with an idea in his head, he would quickly record a rough version of that on his phone using his voice, which he could then reference later. Will mentioned how he wanted to make sure that the music wasn't in the way of the visuals. There is already a lot going on in Olobolo, from particles and fast-paced gameplay to lots of sound effects. The soundtrack isn't the star of the show, rather it's there to provide a pulsing pace, action-packed atmosphere. Jiri Ri explains that he works on his music by adding layers to his piece. He'll begin with the intro section and add a beat, followed by various instruments and melodies. Again, hiring freelancers isn't the same as closely collaborating with a composer over many weeks or months, but for the price and the incredible delivery speed, it can be well worth considering. Thanks a ton for watching. Olobolo, our third Steam game, is coming up really soon, so stay tuned for that, keep an eye out for that, and yeah, just stay tuned on Blackthorn Prod. We're gonna make lots of game development tutorials, behind the scene devlogs, everything to do with creativity, with game development, you'll find here. Okay, cheers. cheers.